What's going on, everybody? First 14, totally badass. Getting into a meditative state. Oh, checkmate R. What's going on, bro? Or is it check matter? Is that what it is? Check matter, check matter. In Russia, Moscow. Welcome, comrade. Oh, you know it, Damon. You know it. Welcome to the ZBO Dojo, 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 Dojo. My name is Spicer, your spicy sensei, if you will. And today on the stream, we're going to be making a no totally new sculpture based off of some Riot game art. We're going to be going over Harry Mandible's latest sculpt. But before we get to kicking some ass, taking some names, and turning on that autosave, let us give thanks and praise to the lords and gods of Sajir. Starting with Frank Frazetta, the All Father. Thank you, Lord Frazetta. Next, St. Joseph of Drist. And next, St. Paul. Look up here, 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 look up here. Next, Ryan, the king of Slian. And finally, Simon Lee, spider of Zero. Thank you for your overall inspiration, education, and badassness. We salute you and the ZB Ho Dojo. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Attentive slug in the house. Jay Morales in the house. Appreciate you all being here. Hope you had a good week, a good weekend, nice and productive. I know I was, you know me. Every week coming out with something hot. Something hot. Brazil. What's going on? What's going on? So, I am excited to start this new piece. It should be fun. It should be fun. Let's get over in to the dojo. Alrighty. So, finish this piece this week. It was a good time, good time. It was a speed sculpt over at the ZB Ho Dojo. The theme was Star Wars. Definitely gonna print this guy out. Um, and yeah, but now I'll put a time lapse together of me cutting and keying this thing. Should be pretty easy. I mean, you just split apart all the pieces. You know, <laughs> it's not that hard. Just printing it, getting it all there. That's the challenge. Damon, woohoo, let's get this party started. All right, here we go. Here's my um, Brazilian. Uh, Viana Berto, Inuar 
Qua Que Voa Brasil. There we go. I got it. I got it. Santiago K Pasa cracks. Will A Vicente, let's go. Carbon, you got to get rid of that COVID. All right. You got to get rid of it. Okay. But today on the stream, I was thinking we could do this guy. I don't know about you. What, what do you think about this one? You like this one? I think I think we should do this one. It's so nice and easy. We can talk about all the anatomy, all that good stuff. And this magic is pretty easy to uh, make as well. The Ruined King, yes. From Riot G Games. So we're going to do that. But first... We are going to critique a sculpture by Harry Mandibles. He's in the chat right now. One of the dojo members. So we're going to go over this and then we're going to get started. There ain't nobody streaming after us tonight. Ain't nobody. So we're going to go a little bit longer than usual. All right. We can go a little bit longer than usual. Okay. Alrighty, so mandibles. You, you just went overall, or was there something in particular? Something in particular. <clears throat> one Alex F1. Deezing, delicious looking bust. Carbon 4444, don't worry, I'm ass hard. Santiago Velasco Diaz is awesome. Harry Mandibles overall and pose. Okay, so uh, let's see the pose. Hmm, I think, let's see. Alrighty, so you do have it. Okay, so what I would do is I would give him a sense that he's like walking in the uh in the water right now it just looks like he's just there i don't know do you want him rising up or do you want him walking forward up out of the swamp carbon 444 lol typo i meant to say i'm beating covid's ass hard i don't know i think don't worry i'm ass hard I think that's uh, I think that's what you really meant, Carbon. I think everybody take a clip right now. That's what Carbon meant. All right, so Scooby Doo uh, doing a slow walk. All right, so um, let's see what I would do. Uh, I'm gonna get my mask lasso. I'm gonna skip that, and it's gonna be kind of rough, right? It's gonna be kind of rough. Um, let's see, well, let's go here, um, let's go there, and let's go to masking, because every time I hold control and click on the mesh, it always messes up. Alrighty, so, uh, we're gonna put this at the, um, in between the mastoid processy. Oops. In between the mastoid processes, see? Okay. Uh, and then I would give it a bit more of like um, like um, a walking motion, right? So, um, no, you can keep the head there, so you can keep it symmetrical. Uh, but this one, BMV, I would kind of have it like he's, you know, like he's walking forward. And then this one would be back. Right. And just give it, uh, because everything's very symmetrical. So giving it a little bit more of, you know, a directional angle, uh, something a little bit more asymmetrical, I think would definitely help this have one shoulder you know like really far forward the other one a bit more back 
Um, bringing this there. Um, let's, see, let's move this over. Um, and then what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get uh, the arm to go a little bit more forward. So I'm gonna blur this out. And go here, put this right there. A little bit more asymmetrical, I think would, uh, and it's just one idea, you know, I mean, there's, you know, plenty of ways to illustrate this, you know, lumbering forward out of the swamp type thing. Um, but I think a little bit more asymmetry in the pose, um, cause I'm kind of looking at the overall silhouette right now. Right. Um, and a good way to check that is right up here. I'll kind of get something like that. Take a look at the shapes that that are there. Like this little triangle of space right here is really drawing a lot to um, a lot of attention. So bringing that back, um, B I N probably fill that up. And then kind of shape it out flat right above the acromion process. Um, bring that forward. Um, yeah, just uh, just those type of things. Uh, the anatomy, I've you know altered it a lot. Just make sure that you're. I'm pretty sure this was already sculpted correctly. Just make sure that you're. Remember, whenever they're this uh, muscular, you're not really going to see the clavicle at all except right here in between the uh, anterior head of the deltoid and the clavicular head just right there is where you'll see it the most um, and then there's you know plenty of things to fix on this um, since I moved everything but we'll just work on this side for now um, so the clavicle is swooping in and then coming out it should be the opposite right because we need all the room here for all of our neck muscles and everything in there right um right there right there and so we bring it back and then we get the acromion process right um so and so at least the proportions of this deltoid here the anterior head could be a little bit wider and then we can kind of make it up over here with this but yeah i would say whenever you kind of get stuck of you know i don't know about this or that um just you know break the symmetry and put a little bit more story into it and that will definitely drive a whole lot of um uh a whole lot of inspiration on you know what should i what should i do what should it look like you know um and especially with a bus that's, you know, kind of, um, um, you know, we're not doing a full figure or anything. We should be able to iterate on this quite quickly. Um, and then, you know, you can always go back to your T pose if it's uh, bothering you a whole lot. But, yeah, something like that. Um, let's take a look at this um, tricep here. Um, again, after I've manipulated this a lot, this has changed a lot, but just to kind of go over it, uh, egg, lazy nine. Uh, we can probably come over here. Mm -hmm. A little bit more right there. And then just make sure that this um, aponeurosis right here doesn't go too far in. Um, especially whenever we have our arms stretched out kind of like this um, then we want right there we want to get the scapula here Let's, we're going to have to move it a little bit um, right 
there, bring that right there. Spine, blade, and then Terrace Major, and the um, lats, right? Uh, this should be a little bit more flat, but you're gonna have your Terrace Major, your Terrace Minor, and then your triceps gonna fit in right in between there, right? So we know we can kind of bring this and kind of level this off a little bit more. All right. Um, right there, we can kind of move this shoulder muscle around to be a little bit more believable. Um, kind of want the shoulders kind of melding into the bicep. Kind of want it to go over the bicep. Here and always ensuring the pet goes over the bicep. Okay. And got all that space in there. Yeah, so that's kind of what I would do. Let's see the Take a look at the trap. Again, it's been highly altered since I moved it around. Here, um, this seventh vertebrae is a little bit too prime, primal in shape. A little bit more nuance. Right there, bringing this. Make sure you have your spearhead of aponeurosis right here uh, have this hook going around the um, scapula right there and with this type character you know this will have a little bit more mass and the scapula will be you know within that mass as opposed to someone who's really um, gaunt then the clavicles will stick out further than everything else um, you can go here Last thoracic vertebra should be where this lat is ending, or a uh, trap is ending, and then bring over this uh, lat right here. Okay, and then, yeah, it should be fine. So that's kind of what I would do, and then get rid of the smiley face. <laughs> smiley face is kind of uh, throwing everything off. So... I know you haven't worked on the face yet, but just a little bit here and there. Okay. You're destroying the planet! You know, be a little bit more, a little bit more sad than this. Um, and then kind of fill that in, fill that in, go there. Okay. Yep, that's what I would do. Uh, let's see. Carbon444, don't worry, I'm ass hard. Uh, it's Spicer Kimara. What's going on? Um, Harry Manvils, there's an unposed subtool there as well. An unposed subtool. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, this is Harry Mandible's piece. Um, Harry Mandibles haven't broken symmetry yet. Uh, Harry Mandibles, but I don't feel confident about bending the body to achieve the pose I want. Um, you got to, man. You just got to get over it. You know, there's no, there's no, there's nothing wrong with failing. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with it. No one's, you know, no one's life is in your hands. Uh, yeah, B, you can send it, uh, just give me the, uh, uh, Google Drive link or the, uh, Dropbox link. Um, you know, don't worry about making mistakes. That's what, uh, all this is about, you know, like making mistakes, learning from them, continuing on, making mistakes, learning from them, continuing on. So just, you know, break the symmetry, put it where it needs to be. Make sure it's very interesting. Uh, 
Yeah, you can uh, put the link uh, here, uh, B. The uh, Dropbox, Google Drive link. Um, but yeah, uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah, don't worry about messing up. You know, no one's life is in your hands. No one's sitting here. You know, there's no project that's resting on you making sure you get this right. So just make the mistake and keep going. No worries at all. Uh, oh, you got to have them sound effects, make believe. You got to have them. Are you drawing on a screen tablet or a separate tablet from screen? I'm always on an Intuos tablet. Always. Uh, Swamp Thing has seen some shit. No tie for chuckles. No tie for chuckles. Alrighty. So that's what that's uh that's uh that's it, brothers and sisters. So only sculpted one side, but you know, you can carry those things over to the other. Um, you know, I want people to, oh man, he missed that little lump there. He doesn't even know what he's doing. Oh my god, well, didn't you see that lump there? I would have got it if I was there. I would have said it. I would have pointed it out and fixed it in front of everybody. I'm so much better than Spicer. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so Sternoclido, make sure it goes towards the sternum. Make sure it goes towards the sternum. Right there. Head of clavicle right there. Triangle. And then the jump. Le jump. Le jump, le jump. Right. See, that's what I would have done. Zebra's life should get me to do it. I'd be so much better than Spicer if I was there. But yeah. So, that's what I would do to fix that. Where are you at, B? Where's the link, B? Because when I get in my mode, I'm going to get in it. I are scopes. What's going on, brother? Yo, 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 yo. Just spicing it up. Where'd you send it? Where'd you send it? It's not here. I don't see the link. There, you can send it there. Oh, whoa, wait. That's the title of the stream. Jeez. Uh, here, let me try that again. Right there. Copy. There we go. Uh, there we go. You can send it there. I don't see it in the chat. Maybe it's blocking it. You can email it to me there. Uh, today, we're going to be working on a riot character, the Ruined King. Saw this concept art, and I was like, we're knocking that one out real quick. So no one's streaming after us. So we should be able to, unless y'all piss me off, chat. Unless you make me angry. We'll be here a little bit longer than usual. Okay. We got all night. That's right. All y'all's dreams coming true tonight. You got Spicer here all day, all night. Where is it, B? Yeah, everyone be nice to me. Yeah, yeah. Um, easiest way is to go to the dojo. Boo -boo -hoo. Go to the dojo. You can go there and you can put in the uh, critique submission section. All right, there it is. Finally, Brandon. What is this one drv.ms? What is this? This is not this is not a Google Drive. What are you trying to you trying to get a you trying to get something on my on my computer live here on the stream? 
Brandon? I don't know. I don't know about you, Brandon. This is very, very, very sus. Vagilis Villegrakis. Welcome, welcome. Something in Russian is back again. It's a OneDrive link. All right, everybody. So, Brandon, it's his fault if the stream breaks down, okay? It's his fault. It's his fault. He's gonna buy me a new computer. He's gonna buy me a brand new computer. And that's fine. That's fine. I need to update anyway, you know what I'm saying? All right, it's Brandon Nevis putting on, putting in that makeup work, making her look real sexy. Alrighty, so let us turn off that. Okay, so let's see. You got some good stuff here. Overall, I would say it just lacks depth. Like you have depth here, right? In this little pocket. Right there you have depth. Right here you do. But everything else is very close to the surface, right? Like right here you have depth. But everything else just seems like it's been sketched in and then you lightly sculpted it in, you know, like. Uh, and I know I've been there, you know, I'm not Whenever I'm critiquing like this, I'm not... I've been there. I've done it! Okay? I've been there. I used to do the same things, but now I'm going to show you how to not do it. Okay? All right. So, here, first thing, you can see the uh, forehead's very flat. All right? It's very flat. You have an indication here, but that's about it. But there's no real form. Right? So what we need to do is let's set this orbit. So let's go here, let's go there, let's go there. So you got your top orbit sort of blocked in, but you don't have the bottom orbit. Right? The inferior margin of the orbit. Okay. Gotta have that, gotta have it going down. You gotta have the, the nasal bit here. Okay, you gotta have the glabella, all right? You have just one form that goes straight across. So we should have the orbit ending right here. This little bit right here is called the um, canthal tendon, right? And then your eye is very almond shaped. It's very one, there's no hits, right? There's no pop and then something else and then something else and then another pop. It's just do rip, right? So what we need to do is we need to put in our lacrimal punctum right here. You need to make sure that there is a uh, definitive lid to this eyelid, right? We can't have it kind of rolling in there or anything like that. Next, this needs to follow the eye, right? So it needs to kind of go around the eye. Next, uh, your eyelid. Uh, B, are you paying attention? All right, so the upper eyelid goes over the top one. All right, 99% of the time. That's what's going to happen, okay? And then the bottom eyelid is going to be originating from within the top eyelid. So it's not going to meet and then come back. It's going to go over and then that's going to come from within, okay? You better be paying attention, B. All right? And if this is a game character, all this has got to be fixed. All that's going to be... I'm pretty sure you're just in the sculpting session... Section... Stage... But, uh, you're going to need to fix that. All right. So, um... So make sure that you always got your infraorbital furrow, okay? That's this thing right here, okay? That is on everybody, 
unless they don't have an orbit. Okay. Uh, next, you need three hits for the nose. Okay, well, let's block out this brow first because it's taking up a lot of space. Okay. So what you need is you actually need a brow. So you're going to have to knock all this away. All right. Go right here. And then you have room for your uh, frontal bone or your uh, your forehead. Okay. Your zygomatic, this is going to the side of your eye. It needs to be, it needs to line up with the bottom of your orbit here. So this is going this way when it should be going that way. Okay. So boom. And then you can dig in over this uh, temple and then you'll have that hit that you're looking for, that pop, boom, right? Because you're not gonna get that unless you dig around here. Uh, you can smooth all that out. Um, and then you have a very woo, jawline, okay? Jawline's very, there is, you know, a slay, low carb, but not this extreme, okay? Especially not for a very masculine character, okay? so. We need length of jaw, angle of jaw, then the mandible. Okay, and it looks like he has a. Looks like he's doing that. Okay. Like he's doing something, you know, like he's blowing. Something like that. So, what we need to do is, uh, it's just too wide and it's too subtle. It's pretty much flat. All the way. Okay. So, uh, oh, so now you want the mesh after I'm done with it? Now you want that to be? Jeez. So many demands. So many demands from this one individual. I'm not going to say his name, but it starts with B. Have I ever made any vehicles? Yes, very badly. Robo Tecando! Uh, Riz Wanmation, what's going on? Uh, have you ever made any vehicles? Have you ever made any vehicles? No, I haven't. Uh, will this be saved? I'd love to review this as, uh, as I work on it tomorrow. Yeah, the stream will be available to you tomorrow. Uh, one Alisso, hi, how are you? Doing good, doing good. Josie, I think they're all get saved on the Pixelogic YouTube. Uh, IR sculpts, don't give it. Don't gov it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say everything like y'all misspell it, and I'm not going to fix it from now on. Okay, I think it's much, much more fun. The jealous Velagracus. I know I got that right. Uh, Spicer, are you gonna do a lower arm sculpt tuck for us to get from Art Station? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Uh, ten of slugs, so I have the hardest time making serratus muscles for some reason. Is it too late to send a ZTL file? Uh, you can send it to that email if you want to. Uh, uh, IR Sculpts, ha ha, ha. Dint, Fox, my spoiling. Uh, Robo Takando, what are we sculpting today? We're going over some critiques and then we're gonna get to the Ruin King. Your voice is quite beautiful. Thank you. Alrighty, so here we've got this. You gotta make sure you have the hyoid bone, cricoid bone, okay? Just imagine, you know, your character's like <gasps> taking a breath. Right, it's gonna hit here and then it's just gonna go back. Right, so we need to actually have this come forward. Okay. Uh, next, for a guy this buff, you're gonna wanna have his uh, sternoclido kind of sticking out a little bit more. Uh, and then this should be like halfway down or halfway, roughly halfway in the middle of the profile of your head. Okay, so we we're talking about the face or the mouth. Okay, so uh, you need to, right underneath here is where it actually comes off the face. Um, and then right here, we need a little bit more of the barrel of the mouth. I'm just gonna re-sculpt this. I think it'd be easier. Um, so we need the Cupid's bow. Okay, so one, one, one. 
right? I'm just pressing one on my keyboard to do that over and over again. Next, we're gonna have this kind of like the upper lower eyelid. This is coming from within the bottom lip. Very rarely do they meet, okay? And then you're going to have the three pads, the filtrum and then the two pads, okay? Uh, then we're going to have um, form soft and then the third pad right here, okay? To end the lips on the side, that's where the nodes are. Your nodes attach to the side of your mouth and they allow you the, the all of that, okay? So you gotta make sure you have that. Um, right here, you need your filtrum and then it's coming in from each side of your uh, septal cartilage, okay? And then uh, you can fix it up, right? Because you just need to sculpt some lips and then you can make it any lips that you want. All right, so your nose um, is blocked out fine, but now we need to finish it off. So we need the alar cartilage here. We need the uh, fibro fatty tissue of the nostril to be um, clearly <clears throat> described as opposed to being all just one shape. Um, this could be a little bit longer. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, smooth that out. Bring this back up into the nose, back up into the nose. Okay, so we have that. So now what you need is you need to let your nose be your nose, okay? So your nose is becoming your face immediately. Make sure that your nose is your nose, right? And then the space in here, so I'm gonna send this down to the bone. The space in here is now filled up with the nasal labial fold, okay? So that's going, get a bigger brush right here and it's going around the node of the mouth and it's ending right around here, okay? So now we can kind of bring these two together. Okay. Right there, smooth, smooth, smooth. Okay, um, next, now that we have, um, so here we need to have, your chin isn't this whole thing. Okay, your chin's right here, right underneath the center of your lip. All right, and that's all that is. After that, it's depressor muscles, right? And then you have one going down right here, attaching right there. Okay. Uh, fill that up. Uh, so you're gonna have a hard line of your mandible all along here. And then, <clears throat> so if we look at this, it's okay, but we could have a little bit more of a flatter edge so that we can delineate the malar from the uh, nasal labial fold. We're gonna have this come down. This should be as far down it should end right here at the nose, right? So this malar right here, that's the end of it, right there, okay? So right there, bring that right there. So now we need to get the uh, malar, or I'm sorry, the masseter in here. So that's gonna go there, then it's gonna go across, and then an egg. And smooth it out. And that's that little, you know, definitive jaw, jowl type thing that people like going for, okay? Um, and let's bring this back. So we can bring these lips back. They're a little bit too far forward. <clears throat> bring that back, okay? So without sitting here and sculpting it the entire session, this is what I would do to kind of bring it a little bit closer to, um, oops, uh, something a little bit more interesting. Okay. <clears throat> and all this stuff isn't just magically in my head. This is stuff that, you know, that you need to understand what's happening underneath the face to sculpt the face. <clears throat> and it may seem like a 
daunting task. You'd be like, how the hell am I ever going to start that? Oh, it's going to take forever. I'm just going to keep sculpting. That was me, bro. That was me. All right. So when I make these, make these voices and stuff, that's just me. That's just my internal dialogue. Okay. But you know, it's like, um, you know, it's going to take too long. You know, where do I start? Blah, blah, blah. You just start with the skull. Start with the skull, and then you go to the muscles, and then you go to the fat, and then you go to the skin. And it's not going to make any sense, but if you keep it in your head, keep reviewing it, then it'll make more and more sense. Okay? Uh, <clears throat> all right, so let's take a look at uh, what it is. What it is and what it was. Right. right okay so orbit i can't express how important it is to understand the orbit right you can see there's no light is going to catch this it's just going to go straight through right here the light's going to catch that it's going to have a shadow it's going to have the solidity of the uh, tarsal plates or the eyelids. Lacrimal punctum. Yours is just a, a lazy oval. Mine's boom. It's got a hit. Boom. It's got a hit. Uh, the nasal bone is a nasal bone. Um, a little bit more of the alar cartilage. Uh, there's problems here I didn't fix. But you can see the lips. Uh, yours are a little bit more primate than human. I don't know if that was what you were going for, but I assumed it was human because everything else was human. Um, your temple is way too thick, and it doesn't ever end. It just goes up into here. Uh, the frontal bone is a little bit more uh, described. It ends at the temporal arch here, right? And I'm just going over basic anatomy, you know, just just the the basic stuff, right? So um, yeah. So if you want one-on-one -on -one instruction, you can go to the XMD Academy. Spicy Nuts gets you 40% off the mentorship and or the uh, on-demand. So if you want me, so that's like six weeks, one hour, just you and me. Uh, sculpting over your work and making sure that you understand and that you level up and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. There you go, B. I hope you're happy. <laughs> one Alex F1, you made it look so easy, Spicer. Oh, it's, it is easy, man. It's the same thing over and over again. B, what if you had to do the inner mouth? Would you just dig a hole, dynamesh, then sculpt it closed? Um, probably the easiest thing is just to re apologize it. And then before you start UVing and everything, send it over to another program and make your mouth bag. And then close your lips back up. I wouldn't worry about that until you get to the re apology stage. Damon Rovsky just sent a Z tool to the email. Wouldn't be awesome to get leveled up. A we transfer? A we transfer? Jeez. Jeez, Damon, it's gonna take forever. It's gonna take forever to download this. Damon? All right, we got one more. Marquee Wilder. He's got Shooter. You sending me two, Marquis? Man, y'all are just asking for it all. Jeez. Okay, where was I? Uh, Verbal is in the house. Welcome, Verbal. Welcome. Um, Make Believe TV, he knows all the muscles so he can just rip through it. 
You're damn right. Uh, Josie, some serious facial anatomy skill there. King O Kid, anatomy, anatomy, anatomy. Josie, he done the face grind. King O Kid, how much milk did you drink to understand? B, if I had to open them out to create geometry to then retop for animations, what's the way you know if you know that could do you? I already answered that question. B! Josie, anatomy books to see the bones and muscles. Hold on, I wait for the day the spicy starts with the brain and nerve cells and builds a skull, then the muscles and fat, then the skin and hair on top. B, damn. Verbal processing, it took less time than expected to get into the groove. I have a lot of practice to go, but it's worth just diving in if you think about it. Something in another language? Very cool. Robo Takano looks like magic, but his knowledge you have acquired so far being put into practice. I am a man sitting sculpting. Santiago Velasco Diaz, I see Shrek. That's horrible. Uh, okay. Man, it takes a lot to do this voice. <laughs> uh, what Alex F1 the press of splash? How many do you want me to do, Marquee? Which one? Send in two. Jeez. Rude. Just rude. Just plain rude. Fear Yellow, what's the stream about today? Today is, um, we're going, uh, what should we call it? Uh, we're doing some critiques and then we're gonna get to the Ruin King. Um. Uh, Oscar Morales Hernandez, hey Spicer, have you ever sculpted a likeness? Yeah, I've sculpted a bunch of them. Uh, they're all NDA, but yeah, I've done them. Uh, the best way to do likenesses is to understand anatomy and then you can kind of pick out everything on the person's face that you're sculpting and then bring that into your sculpture. Uh, Jal Victor 20013, do you teach? Yes, I do. XMDacademy.com. Get that link put in there one more time. Oh, there you go. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tomboy, Lika Ledge Jeffy. Steamworks TC, dude, you sculpted that bad boy on screen, bro? Totally. Absolutely. Ruin King as a sculpt from a drawing. Thank you very much, B. Talden. King O Kid, this man is a voice actor. Damon Narosky, sorry, man. <laughs> I can't go through all these. Y'all are going crazy. Uh, more, yeah, the more Spicer has to catch up, pretty much. Uh, make believe it is great to text the speech. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me is in the house. Spear Chuck early Gala. Uh, is anatomy for sculpted book worth it, Spicer? Absolutely. Absolutely. Spicy nuts for 40% off. XMB Academy. Okay, so, um, this one, uh, who is this? Whose is this? Whose sculpt is this? Whose sculpt is this? Speak up! Whose sculpt is this? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're going to the next one. You know, if you aren't, if you aren't gonna respond, you know. You know, I do all this work, I do all this voice acting, you don't even. All right, Victor, you gotta give me access. Uh, oh, wait, wait, no, I need to switch. God dang it. Uh, 
Alright, download, direct download. Alrighty, Victor it is for Marquis Wilder. Alrighty, so uh looks good. Looks good. Very symmetrical. Very, very symmetrical. Uh, I'm not sure what this is for. This seems like it has a specific purpose. Either it's part of something or a miniature or something. Give me some more context. Damon, Damon, that's your sculpt. Okay, so uh, let's see. So I'm not sure what, well, let me just go over the basics, okay? So um, you need your sternoclido, right? Needs to come over this way. Uh, you need to kind of have your uh, cricoid hyoid bone. Um, you need to have a little, I mean, this guy isn't a bodybuilder, so we don't want to have too much of the traps, right? Want to kind of bring that back. Um, I have this here. Go there, a little bit flatter. Um, the orbit, um, so your eyelids. I'm just gonna worry about this side over here. Um, but you kinda need your orbit to end. It's not ending, it's just going into the, um, into the nose. So we kinda wanna do that, right? You also, again, just like the other sculpt, we want to have a solid, um, uh, solid, uh, eyelid, right? We want it to clearly have an end to it. We don't want it to just roll into the eye, okay? Um, here, I'm going to turn off symmetry so we're not messing with the other side and making it look worse. Um, right there smooth that out um and then we need the um the tarsal plate to go backwards right it needs to go uh, go around the eye right because that's what's wrapping around um you need a little bit more you know um it's okay obviously this is stylized which is fine um but we also need to have enough room for everything here right so this eye even though that we're doing stylized work, right? Like, even though we're doing stylized work like this, I still have my orbit, I still have my eyelids, I still have my malar, I still have my nasal uh, labial fold, I still have my three pads, two pads, still have my alar cartilage, still have my uh, frontal bone, still have all this stuff here, right? It, just because you're doing stylized doesn't mean that you don't um, that you leave anatomy out it's that you put it in very strategic places and around the face you want to put a lot of it right because that's where a lot of people are going to look okay so um, so here we need a whole lot more space so that this eye can be an eye and then you're gonna have your nasal labial fold kind of go over right here right there have your malar right there uh, you're gonna have your uh, temple right here your um, temporal arch you want to dig around here right above it level it off make sure you have your uh, frontal bone here and then let it dive down into your temporal arch, right? Coming around, going back towards the ear, and you either want to have a temporalis or not, you know? Um, uh, generally, it's either neutral or it's, you know, quite, um, quite pronounced, but it's all going in here, right? So this is the reason that this is the widest part of the face because you have um, all of this temporalis in here feeding in and underneath the um, zygomatic arch and then attaching to your uh, coronoid process or is it coracoid? One of those. Um, and then your jaw, um, 
Uh, I don't know if he's just making a funny face or what, but um, but here we still want to have the the jaw bone, right? Still want to have the temporal mandibular joint. Still want to have the angle of the jaw. All this stuff still needs to be here, right? Um, and then little kind of diving down in the middle. Have your superciliary arches here. Going around, going around. All that good stuff. Smoothing it out. Right, uh, and then you just want to end this orbit, right? Because it's just disappearing. You need to end it right here. Make sure, make sure you have enough for your orbit. Again, you just need more space around here so you can describe this a bit more. Alrighty. And then you can have roof fat if you want. All that good stuff. But yeah, that's what I would do with that. Okay. Um, and then there's like I, I I just don't know what this face I don't know what this is for. Like I don't know if he's getting punched. I don't know if he's just making a funny face. Uh, it's very nondescript, so I don't know kind of like what direction to go into. But yeah. Alrighty. Okay. All right. Uh, King of Kevin responded to you, didn't he? Uh, I think so. Uh, thanks for the info, PD Sculpt. Uh, wait, that's super old. King O Kid, uh, I sent you that last month. Uh, I need more contrast in your DJ overlay composite sensei. Okay. Uh, if I just send a shooter, um, uh, but yeah. Brendan Krause, nice self portrait. So is that what I look like to you, Krause? Huh? Look like a joke to you? Is that what I look like? Alrighty. Um. So you just you sent shooter. Why'd you send me two? Taking up all my hard drive space, you guys. Jeez. All righty. So looking good, looking good. Proportional. Everything's pretty much in the spot it needs to be. Uh, what do you want me to look over? Serratus having issues. Okay, so you have the skeleton in here, so this will make it easier. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, the skeleton and a bunch of parts! <sighs> Jesus. Jeez, people. What are you doing to me? Why do y'all hate me so much? I don't get it. Don't get why y'all hate me so much. Alrighty. Uh, Thanks, Spicer, for the info. You're very generous for taking the time trying for a caricature cartoon with exaggerated, goofy way of talking. Oh, okay. Alrighty. So, uh, we need to bring that up. We need to bring this up. Right? So you can see how you're clavicles way too oblique right so we need to kind of bring that up it shouldn't ever be dipping down okay uh let's go transpo transparency put this in here uh it's also too long it's one two three four five yours is in between five and six so we want to bring that up um right there your 
shoulder is too far forward. It needs to be where this S is making a curve. It needs to be right in there. Okay. Um, and then your serratus muscles are just too puffy. Right? Your serratus muscles are never going to be that thick. Right? So we need to send this to the bone. Right, right here, send it all the way to the bone, then build it up. Right there. Just make sure it's nice and even. Right? Uh, and then you're gonna have your lat coming in from your uh, your armpit and going this way. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. And all this should be laying on top of the rib cage, right? You see how far off you are from the rib cage or how far off you are from your scapula, right? That's a problem. So you need to send all this back and then your body won't be so thick. Because he doesn't seem like a, like a bodybuilder. He just seems like an athletic male, normal stature. So all this is going to be resting on the bone, okay? Right? So we got that. So your serratus muscles are originating from the back of your scapula right here, right? And they're coming around and they're wrapping around the rib cage like fingers, right? So they're, right? So uh, your serratus muscles, at least coming from the back, you know, they're gonna come off the, uh, the blade of the scapula at the bottom here. And it's gonna come around and it's gonna go uh, from one to nine, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's gonna come right here, and then it's gonna go up towards the nipple, okay? And then um, we can kind of, again, have this wrapping around the rib cage. We don't want this creating so much form that it's it looks like it's flexed, right? So we're gonna bring this down and then we'll sculpt the lat over it, okay? So here, coming over, we're going to the ninth, right there. Just make sure this is all to the rib cage, all to the rib cage. Are y'all paying attention? Over here showing y'all how to do serratus muscles. What am I, a jukebox? All right, so uh, ninth rib, boom, right there. So now all we gotta do is just go from the nipple, which is right around here. Uh, we're gonna grab onto that. We're gonna grab onto that rib. We're gonna grab onto this rib. We're gonna grab onto that rib, right? And that's going to be what's happening here, okay? Okay, all right, okay. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the lat over that. So your lat's gonna come forward before it goes back, all right? So it's gonna go here and then it's gonna go around and go there. It's gonna have a tube and until we get to the last floating rib and then it's just gonna be form after that. So we're gonna have a little bit of a tube right there, okay? Bringing this forward. right there okay and then you can uh, shape these however your reference looks right but basically what it's doing is just grabbing on to each one of these ribs and then disappearing after the ninth right and then you can bring in your serratus muscles or I'm sorry your obliques in between these right here and then you'll have that okay and then your false abs will sit right under here and then you can have skin, maybe another oblique here, whatever you want. Right. And that's how you block it out. You're welcome! Uh, Damon, okay, you got that. Uh, be agreed. No, Spicer, we love you a lot. 
Excellent. Thank you, Neo Parzval. Uh, Sumerian King in the house. IR Sculpts, wait, what? LOL. Icon, icon, icon. Josie, I was super focused and you scared me. Good. That's what y'all need. You know, that, that's one of my teaching methods is I scare the shit out of you. And then that sticks in your head. Right? Now you won't forget whatever I scared you, you won't ever forget it. Whatever you were paying attention to, you won't ever forget it. Uh, how would you go about not making people look roided out, but somewhat muscular with fat over it? Um, I don't know. Maybe whenever I sculpt like a Wolverine or something, we can talk about that. Uh, a ten of slug, zero five, awesome flag spicer. No rerolls, dude. Chill. Samaritan King, I'm always scared. All righty. So... Uh, what was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thanks, Verbal, for shouting out in the dojo. Verbal's a good guy. Verbal's a good guy. Make sure you go follow him. He's streaming quite often on his own channel, uh, focusing on anatomy uh, as a former student. And you definitely want to keep your eye on him. You want to keep your eye on that individual. Okay, so uh, let's start off with our ruined king, El Pinche King. <laughs> Julie's art! Everybody say hi to Julie's art. All right. Um. Julie's already is going very well. We're about to start this ruined pinche right here. Uh. All right. So I think we caught up. I think we caught up on the shot. On the shit. Alrighty, so let's start uh, with this. Let me show you how to bring in some, um, <coughs> how to bring in some reference. So first thing you do is you insert a plan. Okay, you have this. Um, and then we're gonna go a texture map. We're gonna go here. This thing's already UV'd, so we can just slap something on there, right? Right, games, the Ruin King. And then um, we can solo this out. We can uh, rotate it 180 degrees, make it much larger. I'm gonna try to fit it to this head and then uh, stretch it out, probably around there. Let's see if I was right. Let's see if I was right. Oops. Yep, close enough. If it gives me that dizzy look, then I know it's close enough. All right, no one's gonna unfollow me because it wasn't perfect. All right, so just chill out, okay? I don't ever sculpt with perspective. I wait until the render to do that. Uh, sculpting with perspective, you get really surprised whenever you put on like a film camera and put it at like 85 and you're like, wow, you know, so. Um, so you just want to be very careful, okay? So, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this over and we're just gonna sculpt along with it, okay? Alrighty, so, uh, let's get started, okay? Right there. Let's talk about the nose, everybody. All right, you got the bridge of the nose. Okay, you gotta make sure that your nose is your nose. That's not part of your, well, it is part of your face, but it doesn't immediately become part of your face. All right, these are, this is a button of the nose, your alar cartilage. 
and then you have the fibro fatty tissue basically the same type of tissue that's around your ankle right that's the same type of tissue right there uh got my standard brush i'm gonna just dig it in once and then press one on the keyboard repeat it a bunch of times and now i got a nostril hole okay um next now that we have these main elements now we can make it whatever nose we want to make it okay so you're gonna have three breaks you're gonna have your uh your glabella this is your first break your nasal bone and then into your alar cartilage right so those are gonna be the three breaks every nose should have whether you're doing it stylized or not okay the more anatomy you put in your stylized work, the more believable and interesting it looks. Okay? So here, just going to kind of mark in the eye of where this is going to be. Um, let's see. He's got one of those sad emo eyes. So right around there. Okay? Uh, next thing. He's got a, more of a feminine face. You can see how oblique his jaw is how long his nose is and how close to the eyelids or the uh, eyelids the um uh the upper lip it is so we're just gonna make him look a little bit more female a little bit more pretty it's a pretty boys all right cupid's bow filter him Three pads, two pads, and this is where it comes off the face the most, okay? Right, and then we've got the filtrum right in there. Okay. Um, let's give him the furrowing of the brow here, which is going to expose our supercillary arches. Right there. Going to have the uh, frontal bone. Right there. Hey, he's got a very angular chin here. Um, let's uh, give him a little bit more of an oblique angle to his jawline. Right there. Much thinner on the neck as well which allows us to kind of bring out this jawline this angle of the jaw a bit more but we're gonna keep it oblique um, he's probably got a pretty hard uh, zygomatic arch right here so right there nasal labial fold going around we're going to fill that in fill all that in then we're going to have the nodes of the mouth. We're going to have this mental eminence or your chin right underneath the uh, center of our lips right here. You're going to have your depressor muscles right here. And you see this little bit right here? That's aging him. So we want to get rid of that. Okay. All right. So, um, let's uh, block out the rest of them. Alrighty. Oops. Alright, so pretty wide. You can see, like, in terms of his head to everything else, it's probably about nine heads. Right, one, two, three, four, five and a half. Yeah, so he's probably about nine heads high. Oh, we got Dynamesha first. There we go. <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty, so let's get his uh, chest and all that. You can see he's got a very um, 
uh, hip forward type posture. So I kind of want to have that in the gesture as well, right? So I kind of want to have a hip forward gesture, okay? Uh, we can fill all this right in there. Then we can get our clavicle going. So it comes out and then it circles in like that, okay? Um, Alright, uh, I'm going to turn on back face masking and we're going to kind of block this out. Right there, let's give him a little bit more of a back. I don't know what happened here. We're just going to inflate it. Hopefully it doesn't, yep. There we go. All right, so that's all filled up. Okay, so let's get his back all sorted out. We're gonna have the clavicle. It's pretty much gonna be kind of like a rough triangle here. Right there, we're gonna have the traps come down the center, around. We're gonna have the serratus muscles come off of the bottom of the, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, scapula. Okay. Um, we're going to um, let's put some arms in here. BMK, gonna mask it, invert it, and just bring him out. Right there. Boom. Boom. All right. So now we can kind of sculpt this in. So now we got the flat part of our chromium process. We're gonna have our rear delt back here, coming around, ending halfway down the humerus. Right here, gonna dynamesh this. I know some of y'all are going crazy with this dynameshing right here. Like, God, just fix that. Just fix it. It's making me go crazy. How do you sculpt on something like that? I don't know, it's just giving me a bunch of this stuff. I don't know what you want me to do with it. There we go. Okay. It just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Oh, wait, wait. Let's go. Well, oh, no. Let's go. Lightbox, brush, smooth, smooth, stronger. And then that way we have a little bit more power. A little bit more power! Okay, right here, let's get this deltoid kind of blocked in. Let's get the front of this bicep going. I don't know why it keeps giving me the weirdest geometry of this entire sculpt. I don't get it. I don't get it. Let's mirror and weld it. And at least we have the same problem on both sides. All right, okay, so we're back. Okay, so deltoid, let's get this chest kind of blocked out. A little bit more rib KGE. Right here, I don't know what the hell is going on. Why is it giving me the weirdest geometry all over the place? I'm just trying to get some scopes done. All right, smoothing it out, smoothing it out. A little bit longer of a neck because if everything else is kind of feminine, then we can probably continue on with that uh, motif. Okay, um, here, let's get our silhouettes kind of blocked in. Right here, doo -doo -doo. right there. Let's get our inflate brush, quick tricep. And why are this suddenly fall folding in on itself? going on okay um let's get the yeah he's got the tops of his hips showing looking all types of sexy i wish i looked this sexy right 
there, rib cage. Right here. Sternoclido. Right there, right there. Jaunt. Heads of the clavicle, head of the sternum. Sternoclido right here, going down and around, uh, going over the bicep. Remember, the pet goes over the bicep, okay? And then we're gonna have the rib cage, which is not part of the lat, okay? The lat rests on the rib cage. Uh, sorry, I'm not paying attention. Do y'all want me to get a lot of stuff done, or do you want me to read what you said? You know, like there's a lot of thing, a lot of thing going on right now. IR sculpts, you better be back. Uh, Michael Rivera Arts, either surprised or throwing up. I'm not sure, but either one is good with me. Uh, embrace the crazy. Do you use smooth, stronger Spicer? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You can smooth, stronger me, B. Unlimited power. Sculptress it. Mirren well. Double trouble. Zero meshing and dyna meshing again will fix that weird G. Oh, look at you. Julie's art. Uh, no rerolls. Thank you. Your screaming method works. I'm opening ZBrush now. Nice. Stuff doing. Stuff done. Can't open ZBrush. This is too good. Oh, this is going to get better. It is going to get better. Gathering wolves. Oh, my goodness. You are hilarious. No rerolls, keep going. Go more faster. I want to see more before sleeping. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, y'all ready for speed? Y'all ready for speed? All right, because I'm going to go. All right, here we go. Uh, to follow me outside of Twitch, you can check me out at shotgunscrib.com. Or you can pick up a shirt. All right, so here we go. Here we go. All righty. So, um, we're gonna get his hips set up before I add the legs. So they're gonna be something like that. Mask, invert. Whoa. And then we're gonna make it as long as this is. Somewhere around there. Dynamashing it. Left and right, coming out to the field. All right, and then we're gonna make it as long as it needs to be. All this good stuff. Crotch is looking a little weird. Might wanna fix crotch. People are gonna start laughing at you if you have a weird crotch. Oh yeah, the shirts are dope, brother. The shirts are dope. Alrighty, so it's very, very flat. So I'm gonna add the barrel of the chest. Add a little bit more to the back. Kind of free slim this up. Coming in from the backfield, IR sculpts. It's got a 1.2 batting average. It's a deep member of the ZB Ho Dojo. He's been known to participate in sculpt offs every other week as the schedule allows it. Brad Chip, you're freaking hilarious. Coming in hot with the, the gratuitous compliments. Brad Chip, number 45. Batting average of 1.27. All right, obliques. Lats. I mean, who else makes y'all feel as special as I do, right? No one, all right? No one. This is the best stream you've ever seen in your life, and you know it. And I'm sick of just 
skirting around the subject because it's about time to just say it. All right, lateral deltoid. Rear delt coming in hot. Okay, uh, now let's get this. Let's get this bicep under control. Totally out of line. Technical foul. Bicep looks like an alien sex organ. <laughs> Technical foul. All right. All right, lateral head, egg, lazy nine, elbow. Oh, I can't control. Getting out of control over here. Brachialis. Pit. Uh, epicondyle of the humerus. Flexors. Alrighty, flexors. Alrighty. Ah, crotch still looking kind of weird. Might want to fix that. We do have women and children in the audience. Want to be respectful. The booty is looking kind of weird. Would you agree, Jim? Absolutely. I absolutely agree. Oh, this booty is looking tooty. Thank you very much, Jim. Oh, he's going in for the lumbar. He's going in for the spinal erectus muscles. Oh my god! Upper lumbars. Sculpted with ease. Is his anyone better than Jim on Z-Rush Live? No, I don't, I don't think so at all. Thank you very much, Jim. We got like to give a shout out to our sponsor, Dr. Pepper. What's the slogan for Dr. Pepper? I don't know what the slogan for Dr. If it's not a doctor, it's not a pepper. Dr. Pepper. Tensifascia latte, Sartorus, Rectus femoris. It's the sweet one, Doc Pepper. Oh, what are you doing? You streaming? Okay, we're gonna make sure you have the most weird geometry you've ever experienced in your 11 year career as a ZBrush artist will happen. Oh, okay, thank you. Make and up yours. Best slogan for a soda ever. I'm not familiar with that one. That must be a German beer or something. And since he is hips forward, I want to make sure that the head is right over the heels. Uh, and then we can bring out his feet. Start blocking this in. Head over heels. How much of the 11 years were dedicated to anatomy study or is that ongoing like a jetty? Gathering wolves in with a hot question, with a hot take. What do you think about that, Spicer? Uh, I would say I got real serious about anatomy about five. People were waiting. About five years ago. I would say I got into it pretty heavily because I just got sick and tired of 
spending all day looking for a reference and uh, not really knowing what's going on and seeing other people that are way better than me. And it was obvious that they had knowledge that I did not. And um, one time I had to uh, sculpt uh, <clears throat> this collectible. It was like my first commission in the collectibles business or at least in the fan art business. Um, and I need to sculpt Shazam, but I've always been sculpting people with cowls and stuff like that. And so I never really had to make a believable face. And then I tried to uh, sculpt Shazam's face and I didn't know what the hell I was doing. So I was like, okay, it's time to really, really take a deep dive. Really, you know, I had been studying anatomy here and there, but I hadn't really like memorized anything at that point. And uh, that just really, you know, after what? five six years of sculpting and doing freelance and all that stuff i still didn't know what was going on with the face it just really made me um made me take a look at you know <clears throat> what uh, am i taking this seriously enough so um after that just started learning anatomy and didn't stop it's an ongoing thing um i refresh it every day uh try not to uh assume that i know everything about a certain muscle or anything like that. I always uh, am checking it. I'm always observing it. I'm always, um, you know, doing what I can to make sure that I can sculpt it and describe it very easily um, and belie believably. So that just requires a lot of observation, a lot of study. Um, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Wonderful answer, Splasser. You're absolutely amazing and thrilling and just full of charisma. We'll be back from our sponsor, RC Cola. If it doesn't start with R and end with C, it's not RC. Gillette the best a man can get and dr pepper it's the sweet one oh, amazing john madden impression <laughs> i don't know i'd have to work on it for a little bit I always liked, uh, what was it, uh, Harry Carey? I thought he was the most hilarious person ever. <laughs> Especially when Will Ferrell did him. Oh my God, it was just hilarious. Um, Emmanuel Berry Spicer, thank you for your knowledge, it's good. It's like good music to my ears. Excellent. I likey that. I likey that. Bringing this over, trap ending on the last thoracic vertebrae. Oh, making it look too easy. Uh, occipital protuberance. Alrighty, a little bit thinner. He's not a, um, you know, he's not a bodybuilder. He's just a little sexy boy. Oh, uh, the geo hurts me. Says Julie's art. Uh, making it look easy now. Look at you. Oh, you know it, Julie. I love listening to comedy while work on models. The stream is amazing. Thank you, Spicer. Thank you very much, Gathering Wolves. Potato Man, I like your funny voices. Coming in hot. All right. So let's get a little bit more of an armpit. A little bit more of the rib cage. 
bringing this over get our abs in check so abs you just want to sculpt it like a column going down into the pubic synthesis right here or the crotch yes or the crotch that frick all day the crotch all right and so you have your obliques right here coming off your 9th 10th 11th 12th rib got your rib coming back Got your lat as a separate form and shape. You got the Bootyus Maximus going over the hamstrings. Great Tricanter. Gluteus Medius. Gluteus Maximus. Because, you know, gotta make sure that booty looks good. Whether it's male or female, right? All right, let's see if both his hands are closed. Are they both closed? They're both closed! Easy, easy! All right, let's block out this hand. Don't you love it when all you have to do is sculpt to one fist and then just move it to the other one? Oh, I love it. I love it. Bringing this over. Making sure his arm isn't too wide. Because we just have a little model pretty boy over here that we got to sculpt. Right? Not a lot of musculature. Very thin. You can see the crest of his hips. All that good stuff. I'm bringing this over. Deltoid. Smooth. Brachial radialis. Bringing it over. Attaching to the side of our wrist. Bringing this over. A little bit more form. Is that noise? Oh, it's Art Station. Appreciate all the likes, everybody. Appreciate all the likes. Thank you very much. Alrighty, so uh, it's going to be amazing having you as a mentor. You're damn right. You're damn right. Yeah, that looks like a rusty clam. Don't worry, it'll look like a fist. It'll look like a fist. Don't worry. You can see it's just a lot of pushing and pulling, people. Just a lot of pushing and pulling. Getting your forms down. Being observant. No matter how many times I sculpt a fist, I always gotta look at my own hand. Oh, 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 oh,
Stuff is easy, people. It's just all the big shapes, all the big forms. You just sketch it in, just sketch it in. Let's see, alrighty. So we can work on his posture a little bit more. make sure your heel is not as wide as your foot right widest part of your heel is going to be right here where all your toes begin Catch you up on the chat. All right, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. man, you're so much better at sculpting than me. Honestly, I learned a lot of anatomy watching you sculpt. Great streams as always. Thank you, Julie. Uh, Make Believe TV just planted a potato today. In a hundred days, I should have potatoes. It sounds like a very, very great return on the investment. Spear Chuck of Gawa. Fist of Fury. Harry Mandible's Spiders class. 100% worth it. Uh, have I. Uh, have I printed out my spawn yet? No, I'm going to uh, be working on breaking him up uh, this week and then uploading videos to XMD concerning the sculpting of it uh, on the first. So uh, yeah, everybody can see how I kind of put that bastard together. All right, okay, so work on the um, on the pectoralis right there sternum that right there boom 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 Janet! I'm gonna ski this mountain for you, Janet. I'm gonna ski this mountain for our love, Janet! I'm gonna do a 540 off the mountain for you, Janet! No, Ricky, you're gonna die! I'd rather die than be without you, Janet!
Jason, don't ski the mountain. It's too dangerous. I don't care, Janet. I have to express my love through snowboarding. You know this. Sorry, a little drama. Uh, Pavergi, do you teach anatomy courses? I sure do. Character creation for collectibles over at XMD Academy is a wonderful option if you're trying to improve your anatomy skills. Easy payment plans using spicy nuts. You can get 40% off this already over... Overqualified course. There you go. Once you beat the K-12, you gotta win the regatta. The Marco Keo, man, I'd love to see each of you live. Your energy and good vibes make you want to practice, practice, practice. Hell yeah, dude. You gotta get in it. You gotta, you gotta get ankles deep. Also, if you're looking for other, looking for some, you know, maybe a more affordable option than the mentorship, you can go to my store at oddstation.com. Check yourself out some very cheap and affordable five star, 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 five star tutorials. There, using spicy ZB Ho for an extra 40% off. Oh my god. Pretty small feet. Jow Victor 20013, thank you for joining the ZB Ho Dojo.
Oh yeah. Getting in that work, everybody. Putting in that work, everybody. Sculpting, 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 making it look easy. Saksham! What's going on? Welcome to the ZBHO Dojo. Welcome to ZBrush Live. Feel free to get yourself a cocktail over at the Erotic Wisdom Bar and Lounge. Tell them the Spice Man sent you. Concentrating. All right, what was that? Less than 45 minutes. We got a full character kind of sketched out. All right. It's the way we roll. Okay, we don't mess around. Okay. Uh, your geo is a little high for primary shapes. No, uh, I'm just sketching things in. Evil weenie. Deezing, did you announce the theme for Monday's Dojo Sculpt Up? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. But I like how you like to get in and, you know, try to get that theme extra early. I like it. Let's put some eyeballs inside of his noggin. Orbit, 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 orbit. Everybody, make sure you got one.
Got a prep, got two kids at a full-time job. Need a little extra time I can get. All right, D-Zink. I know what you mean, brother. D-Zink is a dojo member, sculpt off star, sculpt off legend. I think he was the winner of the first one, if I'm not mistaken. Do I do not safe for work art? Uh, yeah, I do. I like hot women. I like sculpting them. Let's see, transpose. We're gonna get our eyelid. Pose. Then we're gonna get our eyelid again. Just needs to be an eyelid, and then we can make it whatever we want. All right. and get some new some new topology Dynamesh instead of subdivisions for detailing. Um, if I need to detail something, then I'll zero mesh it and then I'll uh, subdivide it and go that route. That way it's a little bit cleaner and more, um, more even on the topology. Uh, Dynamesh is just for sketching. Good question, coming in hot. From Pride to that foot. Oh, oh, I'm just so hurt. I'm just so attractive, it hurts. Oh, oh. I'm the ruined king, and I'm sad. Because I'm so attractive. And so kingly. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, hello, what's up, Muhammad? Ciao, Victor. I would love to download ZBrush, but it's very expensive. Do you have? Do you know an app for free? Yeah, you can get ZBrush Mini Core, or ZBrush Mini. It's free. Does doing the, his voice help you capture his likeness? Oh yeah. Oh my God, you guys! I need donos. I need donos for my new house, you guys. I'm the ruined king and my castle's been ruined. Uh, link. Uh, just look up a uh, ZBrush Mini. ZBrush Mini. I need donuts too, man. The Marco Keo download ZBrush Core is free and good to start. Oh yeah. Hasagi Zashiki, do you sculpt Viego, right? Uh, this is a Rune King, I think is what it is. Make his eyes a little bit larger. Boom, boom, boom. Let's turn on local. There we go. A little bit more like that. And then make sure we get our eyelids doing the same thing. Looks like we went through one one playlist already. Alrighty. <laughs> Let's see. Simpunk, lo fi. Alrighty, uh, let's see. Uh, but, 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 uh, the Marco Kio is this for 3D print? I want to work with collectibles. Any advice? Um, yeah, this is most likely going to be printed. Uh, what what area of advice are you looking for? Because there's just so much, so much. Oscar Barrelis Hernandez, when are you going to start your personal streams? I need to, man. I need to. I keep slacking on that. I don't know. I don't know. Soon, 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 soon. I need to. I need to. Just kind of like when I'm working, I get into a flow, and then I'm like, oh, man, this would be good for streaming, and then I just forget about it. My bad. I know I'm a horrible, horrible individual that deserves to be burned. But, yeah. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow. That's fine. 
Uh, superheroes. What about them? You gotta be. You gotta ask me a question, not just overall. Um, like, what do you? What do you? Superheroes isn't a question; it's a topic. So, like, what, what's your question about superheroes? Because basically, superheroes are <clears throat> anatomy studies. You know, that's basically what they are. They're they're there with you know skin tight clothing to show off all the anatomy and so you know if we're looking at you know classical art or classical sculpture it would look all kind of boring if they're all just like raw you know there's just like so many so many poses and situations and heroes that they sculpt even from back then you know like, uh, I, I just don't know what your, what your, like, I don't know. I don't know what your question is. Give me a question. And, uh, I can just say, you know, make sure they're not static. Make sure you're honoring the character. Make sure it's dynamically posed. Make sure your anatomy's, uh, competent. Make sure, um... You know, it's exciting that there's contrapposto, that there's um, some type of storytelling. Um, this is with I Love Your Work, the anatomy is so good. Something like the Zatanna you did. Yeah, you just, it's anatomy, you know. Um, Whenever, whenever you get past anatomy, then you can start like really expressing yourself because you're confident and competent enough to. If I suddenly change the pose of this arm, uh, I can quickly get it back to where it's believably sketched out, right? So, whenever you can start doing that pretty quickly, you can start uh, experimenting and. Um, expressing yourself in all these different ways because you're able to iterate very quickly. Um, you know, if you want to do collectibles, and unless you're doing transformers all day and all night, then you definitely want to know everything about sculptural anatomy that you can. Uh, it's the foundation that everything else is built on. There's lots of people that are very successful and their anatomy is not the greatest, but they're able to tell a story and to evoke an emotion or give you something new that you haven't thought of. So there's all these other balancing acts that you can do. So maybe your anatomy is not great, but you're giving us all these new situations that, you know, that we never thought of or that we never, you know, imagined before. And then that's, you know, that's not something you want to rely on. Even if you are able to do something like that, you should still be furthering your ana anatomy and not just sculpting the same wrong thing over and over and over again. Because eventually someone's going to be able to do that again because they looked at you, they saw what you did, they're like, oh, I get it. I just need to do this with my characters. And then their, his anatomy or her anatomy is way better than yours. Now you're out of a job. Right? So, like, it's... Uh, because people want to believe what they're looking at, you know. And the stronger your anatomy is, the better. But you don't want to be a slave to anatomy. You don't want to let anatomy uh, rule everything that you do. You know, you want to use anatomy to your benefit. It's a tool. It's not the, uh, the end-all, be-all of everything. But it's kind of like... Um, you know, if you want to be a guitarist, then you got to learn your scales. And whenever you can play the blues scale backwards and forwards without your, without even looking at your fingerboard, then whenever you hear a melody or something, you're able to just express yourself, right? And that's kind of like what anatomy is. It's like practicing your scales. It's like uh, being a quarterback and practicing your throw and being a fighter and practicing all of your weapons and honing them in so that whenever they kick or punch in a certain way 
you immediately react to it uh, through your expression as a fighter as opposed to um, you know not having that confidence not having all of that hard work and um, foundation to allow you to express yourself so you know if you're gonna be doing comic you know characters and you're gonna be doing um, collectibles then you need to know your anatomy there's just no way around it and you don't want to be a slave to reference or shadows and light you want to like here I don't need uh, you know I needed my own hand for reference but now that I've got it blocked out I don't need to go to the internet and find an image of a hand that's perfectly in this um, perfectly in this you know position and getting all the images and finding all the images and all you know like I can just express myself right so uh, that would be the advice I have for you if you've never had a gig before in that area if that's something you're working towards um, just get your anatomy down get it down oh 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 uh, likeness is key too to the concept absolutely yeah getting your likenesses down is very very important uh, and it becomes easier the more you know about anatomy right because you can be like okay Henry Cavill's mental eminence is shaped like this and his depressor muscles are right here and they're shaped like that etc etc you know like you're you're able to pick all those things up and then use it to your benefit which allows you to create concepts and the like very very quickly because you're used to um uh replicating things or observing things and getting it that way Uh, what sports did you used to play? I was more martial arts. Hence the dojo. Uh, practice Taekwondo, Kung Fu, um, and Wing Chun. Um, uh, those are all the ones that I studied. I always preferred combat than like football or anything. Just seemed a whole lot more useful. Alrighty. Uh, insert. I'm so emo. I'm just so hurt. I'm just a king with a perfect body, perfect face, and I'm just so dissatisfied. I get my hair out of my eyes. My emo eyes. You guys, I'm just hurting inside. That's the reason I have my hair over like this. Uh, yeah, but playing drums, don't really recall knowing guitar skills. Hey, man, drummers. I always wanted to be a drummer. Ended up with a guitar. 
Do you have uh, any suggestions for like quick, like 30 minute daily exercises for studying anatomy? In 30 minutes, you can probably just research, research it. In terms of sculpting, I would probably spend about two, three hours to really kind of fully digest it. Um, you know, you just want to work from the skeleton to the bones, to the tendons, to the fat, to the skin. You want to work in that, that, um, um, in that trajectory, right? You want to know the very inside and then you want to work your way out and it takes way less time than you think. Uh, uh, what was he? Yes, sir. Do you know any 3D artists who can't draw 2D? I mean, if not artists, can 3D sculpt? I don't know if I'm a good drawer, but I don't I don't consider myself a, a good drawer, but I can sculpt my ass off though. Um uh, let's see. Uh Sculpt every day. Damn right I are. Uh, Damon Narofsky, what influence did martial arts have for you developing your sculpting talent? Uh, I would say it gave me the confidence that whatever I intended for my body to do or my fists or my feet to do, they did it. And that kind of brought me a lot of confidence in terms of sculpting. Like, okay, whenever I want to move my brush this way, I should have full confidence in it. Uh, so it just gave me command of my body and allowed me to kind of just flow with it as opposed to thinking of every single thing. One Alex F1, time for me to go Spicer and chat, take care all. Oh, later one Alex. Um. Harry Mandible says makeup is really going to run when he steps on that Teemo shroom. Oh, you know it. Um, doo -doo -doo. Let's see. Uh, exactly. Wax on, wax off. You're damn right. Uh, some advice to the hard surface not to buy damage when the character is posed. It happens to me when they bend or lose symmetry. Um, I mean, I kind of just block everything out and then pose it up and then finish it off. Like doing, if I if I can put it on one arm, you know, whatever armor, and it's on the same side, I just mirror and weld it and then just place it and put it into place. Um, yeah. IR sculpts nice spicer. I took Taekwondo and Hopki Do. Nice. Jeremy De La Cruz Guerrero, what graphics tablet are you using right now? Intuos um, Pro 5, I think. Uh, IR sculpts, yeah, confidence for sure helps there. Zbrush Princess, my ex was into kickboxing, he used to manually wash his hand straps. Wow. You are an excellent girlfriend. Uh, Yurigi, when I'm making a very tight outfit on the body of characters, should I create a new mesh or sculpt the me clothes directly on the body mesh? Um, if you want that border, you're going to need to have an extra mesh. It's the only way to get it nice and clean and consistent all the way around. You can't sculpt that in very easily. So if I have pants and then I have an ankle, then I'm gonna have pants separate and then the ankle underneath. Uh, well, Oscar Morales and Anna's Daniel Bell is a collectible sculptor who admit he does not know how to draw. Marcin Kulpa, anyone please, where I get this Swiss cheese after project all oh, high to low. I don't know what that means, but I like it. Um, ZBrush Princess. Oh, I wish again a marvelous designer one day. Oh, yeah. It's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. Uh, the Marco Keo, I have to go. Thank you very much for all the tips. I appreciate them very much. You have no idea how much they helped me and encouraged me to continue progressing. Thanks and say, you're welcome. All right, have a good meal, IR. Lurk mode activated. Activated. Activated.
my hair, you guys. It's just not working today, you guys. I put conditioner in it. I'm just a ruined king. I'm just totally ruined. Yeah, the Ruined King looks cool, but can we make him more emo? Yeah, bro. I was holding back. No, just let it fly, bro. Let him be super emo. All right, bro. Let's do this. Oh my god, I can actually imagine that being the conversation. <laughs> you guys, I'm just too beautiful for this world. What should I do? Dude, shut the hell up. That's what you should do. But I'm just so beautiful. I, like, look in the mirror and I just can't stop. Such a hard life, you know? Like, just posting to Instagram once a day. It's hard. Julie, <laughs> sorry. Come on, you guys. I got a new... I got a new sponsor today, you guys. Kleenex. So when you're so beautiful and you need to cry about it, Use this aloe vera skin moisturizing Kleenex. And don't forget to subscribe to my OnlyFans. I got some hot pics there. No nudies yet. But we're getting close. I just need 400 more subscribers at the gold tier. You guys. <clears throat> hey, where can I follow your Twitch, Mr. Streamer? You can go to shotgunscream.com. You can follow me there. It has all my links. All right there. All my stuff. Thank you, ZBrush Princess, the hand wrap washing queen. You guys, my eyelashes, they're just, they're just not as, you know, just not popping today. There we go. I feel so much better now that y'all are paying attention to me. Oh my God, they look so beautiful. Yes, batch. Savage, killing it.
Oh my god, do I look cute or what, you guys? <laughs> oh my god. Make sure to get my bang energy, pina colada. They made it for me. <laughs> oh. uh, okay, there's still no Twitch username posted there. Uh, it's uh, just shotgun screen. That's what it is, shotgun screen. That's me. That's me. Anywhere you look, that's me. Uh, Julie Zard, okay, I can't take this character seriously in the concept anymore. <laughs> ZBrush Princess, this is the best Pixelogic stream ever. What did re. Where's the restream bot? Uh, restream boy. Marcin Koopa, relax, nothing but you. Oh, thanks a lot. You're welcome, ZBrush Princess. Alrighty. All right, you guys, the kingdom's under peril and I need to get wash my hair, so. Do I have any champions? What the hell is all this? Vidal Sassoon is the shampoo I use, obviously. Uh, entertaining and educational, thank you. Okay, dude, this stopped being funny three minutes ago. Jow Victor coming in with a hot take. Well, you know what? I drive jokes into the ground, okay? Victor. So I just keep going and going and going and going. All right. Kill a joke, then raise it from the dead. ZBrush Princess joining the ZBHO Dojo officially. What's going on? Your dog is behind you. What's her name? Her name is Natasha, as in Romanoff, as in Black Widow. I would like to hear what this character has to say about the scale you made his codpiece. 
You, you guys, my cod piece isn't large enough. I need a sponsor. Where do I get my cod pieces? Where are they? There you go. Are you are you more happy now? Are you are you happier now? All right, let's put some pants on the dude. Um, let's fix his hips first. Hey Spicer, happy TGIF, how's everything going? It's going great over here in Zibiho Dojo, the finest place to hone in your martial arts, CG skills, the most premier dojo in all of ZBrush. So let's get some low cut pants on this guy. Uh, let's get his transverse abdominus, all this stuff here first. here. You guys, my my jawline's just so sharp. I don't know what to do. You sound like a DJ. No rerolls. Thanks for being awesome, yo. Love your vibes, Mr. Best Awesome Streamer on Pixelogic Team. You damn right. You damn right. Thank you. 
Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah, you gotta have the you gotta have the synth wave going when you're working. That's a must. I think that's inclusive. Let's get this. You guys, my eyes are all black and green. What do I do? Does anybody have any visine? I need it. Synthwave is the best sculpting stream music. Kimara. You want to see how I make the sword, Jeremy? Huh? All right. You want to see this, Shiznit? All righty. Let's do the sh let's do the shiznit. Emmanuel Obiri, you missed my comment. DJ Spicer on the ZBrush Mix, please play me some anatomy. Ooh, Nightbot, Nightbot! Why are you picking on her? Why are you picking on her, Nightbot? She's just having a good time. She's laughing. We already had this discussion. If you want a legendary quick hack, contagion or ping, then you're gonna have to act right and you're gonna have to treat the dojo members more respectfully. Don't give me that look. Don't, don't roll your... Just sit your ass down. Alrighty, so let's take a look at the sword, see what we can do. Alrighty, so we got an anchor up here. I'm pretty sure what we're gonna do is duplicate this. Send it home, make sure it's nice and in the center. Uh, we can do this a couple ways. Um, let's subdivide this. Up to four million. And then uh, poly paint. Poly paint from texture. Turn on RGB. Poly paint from texture. There it is. Then let's mask by color. Let's zoom in. Get that one. That. Press OK. Let's see, what is that masking? Yeah. That should work. Okay, so we can get the overall shape. Let's see what it does. Uh, let's get all this out of there. There, there, there. Alrighty. Let's see. Ah, 
I don't think that's gonna be good. I don't think that's gonna be good. I don't like that. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's just append. See, this would be mm, roughly a cylinder. Let's go to the cylinder. Boom. This right here. Right there. We're going to use BMD. Smooth this out. Uh, let's turn on transparency. Boo, boo, boo. Transparency. Let's kick up the transparency of it. There we go. And I'm going to dynamesh it. Um, and there we go. And I'm just worried about one side, right? That's all we're worried about. Bots too. When do you usually stream on Pixelogic or in general? I need to watch more of your content. You're cool, man. Take care. I need to run. GG. Thanks for making my day. Um, I stream Fridays this month uh, at this time. And then uh, just turn on your bells and whistles. And then you'll know. And then you'll know whenever the Spice Man's online. Appreciate you being here, Zebra Princess. Oops. Alrighty, so. And then add one cylinder. Hey, who's ready for that fight this weekend? Conor McGregor First Dustin Poirier That sword turned out pretty neat. Thank you very much, sister. Alrighty, so let's uh, insert a cube, make it a Q cube. Put it here. Dustin Poirier, he's a good fighter. He's even a great fighter. But great is still many levels below me. Alrighty, 
transpose. BZM going to slide this. Oops, slide edge loop complete. Right about there. And make it as thin as we need it to. I'm the champ champ, give me your belt. Alrighty, so we're going to insert another edge right there. We are going to mask that, unmask that. Make it a bit thinner, yeah? And there's your freaking sword. How do you like that? You're never gonna see that on another stream as quickly as that was, was it? And there it is, all blocked out. Oh yeah. Let's see. Uh, oh, really cool. Thanks, yo. That sword out there. But I am should be a good one. Oh yeah. Make sure you join the ZBO Dojo. It's a Discord where all CG martial artists congregate and go there. Oh, McGregor, he used, he used to watch me, me ex. He used to watch his matches all the time. All right, there we go. There's your sword. All right, I hope you're happy. Look what you did to the... To the kick. Do I have X on? There we go. Roughly about there, yeah. Alrighty. So, that's good. Let's get this. there So let's uh, block in this uh, this crown. Yes. Basically a cone. Let's get this right there. Make polymesh 3D. Let's skinny it up. Let's uh, mirror and weld on the Y. There we go. Alrighty. Boom. Okay. So insert. Put that there, just like that. Mm 
Oops. Gotta turn off local. Oops. Gotta turn off the Y. It's gotta be X. All right, you guys. Let's burn it today, guys. Woo! There we go. All right, let's give him some pants before we leave. Keep groups. Z Remesh. Daniel 12 looks great. Vicky Quinn. LG King. Jow Victor, now it's fine. Hey Spicer, is there a start date for the mentorship? I see there's a cut off date for enrolling, but can't find a start date. Uh, we're probably gonna be in about two weeks. We're gonna announce the scholarship. And then uh, we'll start a week, uh, a week after that. Mm -hmm. So it's a two to three weeks and you'll be in class. All right, people. I hope you had a great time on the show. I know I did. Make sure. Pick yourself up. ZB Ho Dojo shirt at ShotgunScream.com merch. Make sure to go to XMDAcademy.com to get a uh, mentorship with me. We will be announcing the uh, scholarship in a couple weeks, like I just said. Um, where you can get in on a class for free and get all the on demands as well. Um, and then make sure to check out my store at ArtStation, all five star tutorials. Um, and you can use Spicy ZB Ho at ArtStation for 40% off. And Spicy Nuts at XMD for 40% off. Alrighty. But before we go, before you go, we must give thanks to the anatomy father, Scott E. Aiton, and the A. Aiton. Thank you everybody for being here on the stream. If this is your first time, you just got your ass kicked. If this is your second time, you probably dodged a few, but you still got your ass kicked. If you're a veteran of the ZB Ho Dojo, then you knew what was coming and you got ready. All right. Thanks to Verbal. Thanks to Damon. Thanks to Vicky Queen. Thanks to Jow Victor, even though you had a little bit of negativity in there, Jow. You had a little negativity in there, but we'll, we'll still thank you. All right? Kimara, thank you very much for being here. ZBrush Princess, thank you very much. Uh, Sumerian King. Uh, Nico Evelyn. 
uh, Chewbacca, Jamie McGill, Nightbot, Julie's Art, Emmanuel, no re rolls, Quix Synth. Thank you very much, it's about. And Marcin uh, Culpa. Thank you very much for being here. We will be back next Friday at the same spicy time on the same spicy channel. We have over 136 million viewers. That is a record by far. All of us have different beliefs, morals, pectoralis muscles, glutes, but in the end, we are all one. Ooh, ooh, wait a second. Ooh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. We are all one. 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 one.